OK, we're going to have a quick look at using the roof removal tool in Zoo 3D. And I'm going to use it to try and uh, make a short film of this zebra flying across in front of the castle. So to take the pictures, to save having to uh, try and press the keyboard or, to, or click the button at the same time, I'm going to use the time-lapse feature in 2 d So that's down here, time-lapse. I'm going to set it onto one second. And uh, I'm going to start it going. My, I've got my zebra over this side ready to go. So start it going. Now, it's important we get a few frames before our rig goes in, at least one. Then as we move our character across, just let the time lapse take our pictures. When you're setting up your rig removal scene, it's important to try and light the background in such a way that when your character and your rig move across it, they don't cast shadows onto the background. Otherwise, you get a shadow of the rig as well as the character, and it can make it harder to remove. Okay, so that's good. We've got our frames there. We'll stop the time lapse, close that down, and uh, we can watch back what we've just made. So it's not a particularly amazing animation, but it'll be fine for what we need to do here. So now we can use. This tab here, and this is the, these are the rig removal tools. So before we start using it, we first want to press this button, which configures it, and choose the frame. So we want to go on this one, select a frame on the timeline, which we'll use as the source for the magic rubber or the rig removal. So now we can hover over the timeline and select a frame which doesn't have our character in it. So I'm going to choose that second frame there, uh, and then we press close. So now when we go on to the rig removal tool, we'll be drawing, we'll be painting with the contents of that frame. So now we can play our film step through and find the first frame which has got some of the rig on here. So we've got it here. Now we can draw carefully over our film. We rub out that rig and then I'm just going to use the arrow keys to step through and frame by frame we rub out our rig. I'm just going to do this quite quickly but you can do it carefully. You can zoom in and adjust it but we get the idea doing it like this. See here there's a bit of the lighting change in the background so I'm just going to Spread that out a bit, it might show up a bit. If you right click on the rig removal tool, you can adjust the, the size of the brush and how fuzzy fuzzy the brush is. We can tweak that there. Rub this out bit by bit. And we just keep stepping through. Rubbing it all out. Rig removal works best if you've got a complicated interesting background. If you've just got a still single picture you're probably better off using green screening tools and then taking the background away and importing the background in afterwards. So when you've got a, a three-dimensional interesting background like this one here that's when rig, rig removal works best because it breaks up the shadows and the lights, uh, the lighting changes a bit. So when we watch it now there we are. So that wasn't great you've got some we've got some lighting changes that we could do with tweaking but we get the idea of our zebra moving through the scene like this. Now the way that the rig removal works has been improved in the new version of Z3D which is on the iPad and on the Mac and those changes will soon be coming to the PC but this is how it is now on the PC. That's great.